The House committee investigating the January 6th insurrection has just subpoenaed the former Trump White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. In a statement that just came out moments ago, the committee leaders wrote, the select committee's investigation has revealed evidence that Mr. Cipollone repeatedly raised legal and other concerns about President Trump's activities on January 6th and in the days that preceded it. The committee says it needs his testimony on the record. It comes after a former top aide to the former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows testified publicly just yesterday. And a string of denials today. Longtime Trump ally Rudy Giuliani and former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows both deny they ever asked for pardons after the insurrection. Yesterday, his aide, Cassidy Hutchinson, testified under oath that they did. The former chief of staff has refused to answer questions under oath in front of the committee. They voted to hold him in contempt, but the Justice Department declined to charge him. After the hearing, former White House lawyer Eric Hirschman also cast some doubt on Hutchinson's testimony about a handwritten note. She said she jotted this one down as Meadows and Hirschman dictated to her language she said they wanted the president to include in a statement as rioters breached the Capitol. Hirschman says, <clears throat> excuse me, he actually wrote that note. And as we reported here last night, Secret Service agents are disputing Hutchinson's claim that former President Trump reached for a steering wheel and lunged at an agent inside the presidential SUV. She testified another White House aide told her it happened after the president learned he would not be going to the Capitol with the rioters. Hutchinson said the agent he allegedly lunged at was in the room when she heard the story and that he did not deny it then. They do agree he was angry and wanted to go to the Capitol. CBC senior congressional correspondent Elon Moy tracking the fallout tonight. You know, a, a critical subpoena just in from, from, from that committee. Well, yes, yeah, Chef, the committee has been calling for White House counsel Pat Cipollone to testify for weeks, if not months now. And tonight, it finally sent that official request. In a statement, the committee said that it appreciates Mr. Cipollone's earlier informal engagement with that investigation, but it now needs to hear from him on the record. Now, the subpoena comes after that dramatic testimony yesterday from White House aide Cassidy Hutchinson, who claimed that Cipollone told her he was worried about getting charged with, quote, every crime imaginable if Trump went to the Capitol on January 6. Now, earlier today, committee vice chair Liz Cheney dismissed Cipollone's fear that his cooperation could violate executive privilege. She tweeted his previously stated concerns about the institutional interests of his prior office are outweighed by the need for his testimony. Now, his statement could also be key to bolstering Hutchinson's credibility as a witness after several people have been disputing her testimony. The Secret Service told me that the committee did not reach out in the days leading up to yesterday's hearing about Hutchinson's account of what happened in that presidential SUV. An agency spokesman said that it plans to formally respond to those allegations and will make any member of the agency available to the committee. Still, Hutchinson's lawyers are defending her actions. In a statement, they said that she stands by all the testimony she provided yesterday under oath to the select committee. And members of the committee themselves said that they, too, welcome anyone with information to come forward. Nobody is challenging the central material facts of her testimony that Donald Trump and Mark Meadows were perfectly aware that there were armed people in the crowd. I fully expected that Ms. Hutchinson would come under attack, but uh, from my estimation, she spoke with entire credibility and authenticity yesterday. Now, Chef, the committee says it's gotten a wealth of new information since these hearings began, but Cipollone could be a critical witness if he cooperates.